Okay, so this vlog is starting pretty late. It's about one o'clock on Saturday the 17th. And so this vlog is gonna take you all through our getting ready for our big trip. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you my packing process, what I'm bringing by way of knits um, that I'm going to bring to wear, also my knitting projects that I'm going to take with me to knit. Um, but as you can see, I still, I mean, I got dressed somewhat, uh, but I haven't even brushed my hair. I'm still working through my coffee. Um, I was fighting something off this week, so I haven't been feeling really great. And then last night, Rob and I decided to stay up until 2 a.m. watching Christmas movies and Nicholas Sparks movies. So uh, we woke up, I think, at like 11 this morning, which is extremely late. Um, and I'm just fighting off tiredness and not feeling great. So um, I'm actually going to be filming three videos this weekend. So we'll see how that goes. I'm filming this one, uh, which you all will be seeing on Wednesday after I'm filming this. I'm also about to sit down, um, film a sit down video, everything that I knit um, in 2022, which you will see tomorrow from when I'm filming this. Um, and then I'm filming tomorrow, uh, opening all of my festive yarn goodies that I got. And so that's the video that's gonna post on the 25th. Um, and so those will be the last three videos of this sort of mini vlogmas series um, before the new year. And at that point, uh, when that last video goes up, we will be in Europe. So um, we'll be filming some vlogs and stuff like that for uh, January. And I'm hoping to uh, pop in and do some yarn shopping and stuff like that. So um, it's one o'clock. I have knitting group at two. So I'm gonna be really quick about putting on some makeup filming this video and then getting ready for uh, my knit group, which should be pretty simple. I'm just gonna sit in bed and knit for a couple hours and then I have um, an appointment to get my eyebrows waxed before we go. Um, so it's gonna be a very busy day that I started off very late. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you my makeup um, and this is my everyday makeup. I don't do anything fancy. Um, before I film and this is one of the things that I need to go and get do today when I'm out is get a new uh, compact because this is real life <laughs> this is what I'm working with um, but I use the Laura Mercier powder foundation and what I like about powder foundation is that I can decide how heavy I want to layer it, um, which for me is not very heavy. I really just want a tiny bit of coverage to cover up my uneven skin tone and my rosacea. And I also shouldn't be putting on makeup before a wax, but they will take it off. And so this is really all I do for my face I'll go in see where I need some extra but for me I still want to see my freckles and then I know that I'm pretty natural um, so I use the Laura Mercier smooth finish foundation powder in the number 11 and so that's just oh. It is, it's just this thing, and it's completely done today. And then I use Tarte um, blush. This is the color Dazzled. Um, I use the same brush just because I have really big cheeks. Um, and then, depending on if I'm going for a little bit more of a like dressed up look, I'll do some bronzer, but other than that, I just do very basic blush situation. My skin's very dry because it's the winter. Um, in the summer, I will prime. And so the primer that I use is also Tarte. Um, and it's the Poreless um, Primer. And so that's the primer that I'll use 
in the summer just so that my face doesn't melt off because even though I use a powder eventually as the oils of the day go on your face will melt so I'll use that in the summer before I put on my foundation and I've already moisturized and done all that jazz and for mascara I just do basic drugstore Maybelline Colossal Volume and I've pretty much been using this mascara since like high school um, I've tried other ones and this one is pretty good and very cheap um, there's also this Dior one that I really like but I'm also not one to spend tons of money on mascara so this is just a good waterproof mascara and then I use a uh, Maybelline brow drama because I do have very light eyebrows um, and so today I'm not going very thick so what I'll do is I'll just brush it all up to get it in there and then I'll brush it to the side um, so this is sort of like my natural everyday look if I'm going for a bolder la uh, eyebrow I'll do this swiping back against the grain and then I'll do up and then I'll do in the direction um, so yeah not a makeup whiz by any means this is just I just like to look natural so um, and my eyebrows definitely need to get waxed today. They are out of control. But there's that. So if I'm getting like a little bit more dressed up, like I said, I'll do like a little bit of bronzer and highlighting. Um, but I don't do any major like contouring. Um, and then I'll do a liquid eye and I'll do a red lip. Otherwise, I just have a regular everyday like tinted uh, Burt's Bees. Uh, lip balm that I like to use and that is my makeup so I will brush my hair and get ready to film this video Okay, same spot, different day. So it is now about just about to be 10.30 on Sunday the 18th. And um, yeah, yesterday I think, you know, the fact that we slept in really just killed us. Um, I went, um, I think where I left you off, I filmed my video, which is now up today as I'm recording this. Um, and then I immediately hopped on my knit group, which is with Alex of the Ancestral Craft. And we had a really great time. Um, I think we were on for about two hours and then I had to hop off um, for my appointment. So my eyebrows are now looking pretty good. I finally was able to go back to my old aesthetician because I kept having really bad experiences <laughs> with the other people that I was trying to go to and I just made it work. Um, and then we went to the mall and initially I was just going to go to Sephora to get my foundation, but uh, we ended up stopping at Canada Goose and I got myself a new coat. Um, a bit of a splurge, but um, I did get a nice bonus this year, so um, I splurged on a new coat for the year and um yeah i mean it'll be a new coat for many years not just this year especially the price tag on those coats um and so then i spent the night in bed which i do have some clips of 
um, just editing the video and then we went to bed. I was up really late um, because even when we got home, um, I was just really tired. So I do have some clips of like us eating at the mall and me editing the video. Um, maybe I'll pop on a little clip of the coat. I just got like the classic parka, like the mid-length one. Um, and then, so today we woke up, um, still kind of slept in. Um, but much earlier and so I've just discovered my husband has lost my SD card with like all of my footage on it so I'm freaking out so I was actually going to film my second video that I have to film this weekend like sit down video which is going to go up next Sunday uh, this morning and then clean my studio but I'm pretty sure my SD card fell into like one of the boxes or piles or something that's in there so I'm actually gonna have to clean the studio first before I film the video um, which is not ideal because that means I'm gonna have to have clean the studio twice today but it is what it is um, we moved some things around and we couldn't find it initially so I'm thinking it's in one of the boxes or piles of the knits that I actually took out so I'm gonna be doing that um, coming up so first I'm gonna uh, make some oatmeal uh, eat my breakfast I haven't had coffee yet and uh, change my shirt because I'm wearing a, a rugged maniac shirt I don't think you guys need to see my shirt I'm probably gonna stay in my lounge pants for today but uh, we're not we don't have any other plans other than I need to do laundry I need to sort out the packing and I need to find that SD card and I need to film that video. So it's going to be a really busy day and I hope that you enjoy coming along. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and make some breakfast. So this is what breakfast looks like. Um, I just batch make oatmeal at some point during the week and then I'll reheat it. And I use uh, frozen strawberries and mangoes, and then it has some raw pumpkin seeds and some shaved coconut. And then there's my coffee. As y'all know, I'm not scared of showing real life. This is real life of what my studio home office looks like. There's laundry that needs to be folded, half-opened Christmas presents for my video. That's the pile of clothes that I had in my video yesterday, uh, my desk. It's a, uh, it's a bit scary. So I'm gonna pop y'all on the tripod and I'm going to get to work. Alexa, play Melody Gardot Radio on Spotify. basket of all of the knitwear. I'm going to put it back into the cabinet and put on a load of laundry so that we can multitask throughout the day. So I've actually gone ahead and taken everything out of the cabinet and reorganized it. Um, so here you're going to see all of my lightweight sweaters as well as transitional pieces, summer pieces. Here will be my shawls and then I have a couple accessories here. Usually I put like all of my hats and things in a bed and downstairs. Um, but you know, this will be like where they live off season um, and like my house socks since those are too big to go in my sock drawer. Then here we have uh, heavier sweaters. Here we have cardigans. So when I block the first cardigan, it'll go right there. Um, and then all the way down below, let's see there, uh, is just spillover of more heavyweight uh, sweaters. And Chrissy makes an appearance. I think she approves. 
Okay, so it is just after three now. Um, and because we strive for progress, not perfection, um, I've gotten the office to a little bit more of a manageable state, but it's just gonna have to stay the way that it is um, because I have more important things like packing for our trip and I don't wanna spend my whole Sunday um, right before a work week, right before I go on a trip, um, sort of really doing a deep clean of the office. So I think that that will be what happens when we come back from our trip. Um, usually when I'm in unpacking mode, I get into cleaning mode as well. So I think that that'll be a good time to do a deep org and clean of the office space. Um, so I'll show you that, but um, I just filmed a video, hence why I now have makeup on, my hair is brushed, I have my ranunculus on. Um, so I just filmed uh, a sit down video that is going up the Sunday on Christmas Sunday so the Sunday after you see this um, and yeah so the rest of the day uh, I've been doing laundry all along so the rest of the day I'm gonna keep doing laundry um, I'm gonna sort of uh, sort out the packing situation and um, I think that's it um, I have done a few shots here and there for um my instagram um so some content um some of the holiday content that i wanted to uh, to make um i think it's just gonna have to wait until we come back uh because i don't think it's gonna be realistic for me to uh do so much content um with the uh daylight uh leaving uh it's about you know the sun sets in about an hour um and then also just with everything that i need to do so i do have some blocking that i want to do um and so i'll show you sort of the state of the office which really frankly probably doesn't isn't gonna look like I did much, but I did do a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around and show you what I've done so far. So over here, this is where things pretty much haven't changed, um, but everything that's on this chair are either things that, and this was the chair that was like packed with laundry, so all the laundry's folded. And so these are things that I'm bringing with me and or need to be blocked and so these are my project bags um this is actually my travel backpack right here so that is gonna be out of the room um shortly but under there is just the craziness and this side of the table looks a little crazy although well this is knitting so um that basket has been following me around the house um because that's my caroline shawl um but th these are the goodies that came in my package from Melanie. So I'm gonna take those downstairs and some tissue paper that I'm gonna um, save. Um, so this side of the table, once I put everything in its place, um, will actually look good. Um, and then what I've done over here is in that box there is where I've put all of my festive yarn and stuff until I can figure out where I'm going to sort it. And that's just my <laughs> Rhinebeck yarn that's been living in that bag since I filmed that haul. Um, and then my desk kind of, I don't remember if it was looking better or worse, but um, my desk kind of just ebbs and flows and this is just easy. This is like just some recycling and stuff that I need to take downstairs. So my desk is in pretty good shape. No progress over here. I still have, this is my a pattern that I need to cut um so that's the same so um yeah like i said uh progress not perfection is the name of the game today so this is everything that i'm packing minus one thing um so i guess i'll start here i have just like my pajamas socks just like regular socks my um, dress socks that I like to wear and my Chelsea's and some knitted socks. Then I have my jeans and my socks about. Um, here I have, these are my layering t-shirts that I put on under my knits. Um, a white button up, it's like a boyfriend style oversize. And then my favorite um, white tunic turtleneck um, then for my knits that I'm bringing 
I'm going to bring my ranunculus. It's actually not going to be very cold over there. Um, so I'm not bringing anything too bulky. So I'm bringing the ranunculus and I'm bringing my bay slipover. And so what I like about the bay slipover is that I'll be able to wear it over the button down. And so I can have two outfits, you know, I can wear it with the button down, uh, without the base slip over and then with the base slip over and that'll give me two outfits um, out of the same clothes and then I just have some loungewear. Um, we'll probably spend a day in the hotel room on Christmas Day so I just brought, of course everyone knows, my favorite car bath and then um, some joggers and then I just have some extra t-shirts that I just bought. So. Um, the only thing missing from this pile is my saglin, so that's the only other thing that I'm bringing in, um, obviously the underwear, <laughs> which I'm not going to show you. Um, so I'm pretty much all set, now I just need to get my toiletries together and get uh, my knitting together. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, as you can see, it was a pretty busy weekend um, getting ready for our trip. Um, but we're all packed now, and now uh, today's Tuesday when I'm recording this. And so now we leave on Thursday um, afternoon. Our flight is at 7, and we have to be at the airport like three hours beforehand so I'm gonna have quite a bit of knitting time um, I'm even packing my neck lamp so that I can knit on the plane in the dark um, so I wanted to show you the projects that I'm going to bring with me um, I'm not bringing too much just because I do expect that we'll probably be doing um, just a lot of adventuring um, since I haven't been to Brussels in 15 years now and then also Rob's never been um, so that's really exciting so I'm um, bringing four things um, two shawls two socks and the reason for that is one of the shawls I need to finish because it's a test knit so it's due on the 30th um, which is the day that we get back and then the other shawl is just, um, you know, to have something extra once I finish that one off. And then I have two pairs of socks. Um, the one pair of socks I'll definitely finish. Um, and then the other pair of socks I'll be able to start and maybe finish. Um, but I wanted to bring a smaller project because I think we are going to have some train rides. Um, and so we're going to do some sightseeing and things like that. So we'll be on trains and things. Um, so I want something to knit, but I don't want something big because then that means that I would have to carry something big while we're out and about. Um, so I'll show you what I'm bringing with me um, and then end the video for the day. So the first item, and this is the test knit, um, this is the Caroline Shawl by Isabella Clark of 100 Acre Wool. And um, so yeah, so I have quite a bit done. I've finished the first four sections. Um, and there, I think, are eight sections total. Um, so I will be finishing this while we're away. And so this is um, being knit up in Newtedon um, in the color Brigged, which is, um, if you recall my sweater that I tested for her in Yarnvillia, it's a very similar color. It's looking a lot more brown on camera. Um, but it's a very similar color to Yarnvillia. Um, it's just a darker shade. Um, so in person, you can see a lot of those reds and oranges. Um, it's like a really deep red brown. Um, so that's my first shawl project. My second shawl project, you all will remember if you've been here for a while. Um, I'm finally breaking out the half and half triangles wrap again since I'm no longer knitting on teeny tiny needles. Um, the reason why I put this down was besides all the knitting that I had was that for a while there all my knitting was on size 3 needles so I was using these. Um, so I've finished the whole first section 
And so this is using Life in the Long Grass Hinterland. And um, I forgot the color of this one. It's like, I don't remember what the color is. But I'm going to be joining the second color, which is a brown color called Myrrh. And so I've balled up two of the four skeins. Um, I don't think, you know, I'm going to be able to finish this. Um, I know that uh, if I were Inga, I would have definitely finished this in one sort of trip. But um, with everything else, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. So I just brought two skeins and hopefully that's enough um, to get me through. Um, although now I'm thinking like, I feel like I've planned for this knitting based on the plane trip there. I haven't planned for the knitting based on the plane trip back. So maybe I should ball up the other two skeins. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, now I'm like rethinking my whole life. Um, so I may ball up all four skeins, but uh, I will be working on the half and half triangles wrap. And then, um, let's see. This guy fell over. This is one you will have seen in my recent knit and chat. It is the family knitwork socks for my husband. So I'm just about done with the leg of the first one. Um, so, I mean, these I can knit up in like a day. Um, so that's that. So that's my like first portable project. And then the other portable project, um, not going to show the yarn um, because it is one of my advent yarns. So if you watch my episode that goes up on Sunday, you'll actually be able to see that yarn. But I balled up the 100 gram skein from my Sweet Sparrow Yarns advent. Um, and I'm going to make the Matilda socks by Anya Human. Um, now that I'm on a sock kick again, um, I should probably also finish the sock that I never finished testing for her as well. Um, but starting a whole new pair of socks with that. And I'm actually, I even whipped out my 40 inch circular. So I'm going to knit those magic loop, which I haven't knit magic loop socks in a very long time, but I figure, um, it'll be easier, um, with all of the traveling that we're going to be doing, but, um, I'll insert a picture here of what the socks will look like. Um, so that's four projects. Apparently I'm rethinking my life when it comes to the half and half triangles wrap. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's gotten, it's taken me so long to finish the first half that I'm like, am I really going to knit all four skeins? I don't know. I'll decide. Maybe I'll bring three. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I need to end this so that I can post this so you all can see it tomorrow. Um, but thank you for coming along this crazy journey with me. Um, this will be the last week of Vlogmas for the channel. Um, and so I have one more video going up on Sunday, which will outline my festive acquisitions. So I'm opening up my yarn swap box, um, showing you my advent, and then also showing you the woolen twine festival box that I purchased um, and then I will see you on January 1st with the first podcast episode of the year. Um, I am planning on filming while I'm in Brussels uh, but I do want to put together like a proper um, vlog for that one so it'll probably take me a couple weeks to put that one out so I'll put that one out in January and I do have some fun content planned for you all um, in January as well so um, yeah I'm really excited to be able to decompress and then when we come back we actually still have quite a bit of the weekend left since Monday is a holiday here Monday the 2nd um, so I'll be able to really um, do all the things and relax and get ready for work and the new year and all that entails. But um, yeah, I hope this email, ugh. oh my goodness, I did this um, 
did I do this in my Sunday video, last Sunday's video, or next Sunday's video? One of the videos I just recently, I keep saying I hope this email found you well. And this is because I've been working 15 hour days. <laughs> but I hope this video found you well. You're having a great, great week. Um, whenever you're seeing this, you're having a great day. Um, if you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Whenever you see this, any other holidays that you're um, celebrating, I know that this is just a time for us to all be cozy with our families. So I hope that you're just enjoying the extra time with your family if you have um, that ability. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.